Today we are reviewing Kateb. So this is an AI writer. You can automatically generate content using AI technology. This is an interesting one because it is the cheapest one I have found at only $29 for a lifetime deal. You get 15,000 words per month on this deal for life. So very good value, but obviously can it uh, generate good quality content? That's what I'm going to find out. This one is interesting because it says you can generate an article in less than 90 seconds. So you just enter your table of contents and it's going to generate a whole article. So I really want to test that out because not many others really have that feature. So let's go ahead. Let's log into our dashboard and let's see how well Kateb works. So I've reviewed quite a few of these systems on the channel. So the method that I like to do is I like to use the same topic each time. It's the watch that I wear. It's called a Vostok Amphibia. This is a Russian mechanical dive watch. It has an interesting history. It's available for under $80. This is quite an interesting and specific topic. So I think it's a good test of an AI. How well can it do uh, focusing on something quite specific? So it does challenge some of them. I've saw some, some of these writers don't do very well and some do very well, like we saw with Word here. I did a very good article. I want to see how well Kateb can handle this topic. So let's go ahead and try the article generator. So let's put in Vostok Amphibia dive watch review here. I'm going to use English. So there's choices. We've got Arabic, French, German. We've got uh, all the main languages. Let's see if they've got Hindi. They've got Chinese there. They've got... Uh, uh, yep, Hindi is in here. So all the main languages are covered in Kateb. So let's look at uh, generate here. I'm going to use English for today. Obviously, this is my only useful language that I can speak. So let's go ahead. So now we need to add a table of contents. So uh, it gives us up to eight things we can add here for our table of contents. So we click add new title and we're going to add in our table of contents. So I'm going to add the first thing. I might start with the history of the watch. So so I'll plug that in there. I found it works best if you put the main keyword at the front there and then include the other main keywords behind that. So I'd say history of the Vostok Amphibia Dive Watch to get the best results here. So I'll add that on. We can go ahead and add another one on. So next up, I'm going to go with the features of the Vostok Amphibia Dive Watch, add that one on and so on and so forth. So I've just given it four subheadings here. So history, features, reliability, and for a concluding paragraph, I might talk about the best mechanical dive watch under $80, the Vostok Amphibia Dive Watch. So um, be careful when you do this, because this can use up a lot of words. You've only got 15,000 to use, and this is going to probably generate quite a few words. So let's go ahead and click generate and go ahead and see what we get here. So this is going to start ticking away from 0% as it writes our article automatically for us. So there it goes, 20%. I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's done, and we'll talk about how long this took. All right, so this is all done. It took about 30 seconds, and it's come up with 547 words here. It looks like it's put a picture in. This is an actual correct picture. Scrolling down, I don't know what this picture is, and this is a bright link, so this is not relevant. So I don't think um, some of these are relevant, but the top one is. Uh, let's go ahead and read this and see what we think. Okay, so I've had a quick read through here. Now, it reads okay, but it's quite repetitive. It does mention the basic features quite frequently throughout. So it says it's water resistant to 200 meters and has a unidirectional rotating bezel, uh, screw down, crown, and case back. And then it goes ahead and mentions it again stainless steel case in unidirectional rotating bezel 200 meters resistance. And now if we scroll down, same thing here, 200 meter resistance, unidirectional rotating bezel, screw down, crown and case back. Um, again, down here, it talks about 200 meters, unidirectional rotating bezel, date window, luminous hands and markers. So these um, date window doesn't have a date window. So you do have to fact check things here. And Again, 200 meters of unidirectional rotating bezel, screw down ground, stainless steel case and bracelet. So um, Japanese automatic movement doesn't have that. So this, this is going to require a lot of editing to get this down. I'd say out of the 500 words, there might only be uh, 200 or so words that are actually valuable here or not repetitive. And the pictures, one out of three of them, this is a correct one, but these ones are not correct. So... Um, yeah, look, this, this generates a lot of content, but you really have to do a lot of work editing this down, fact checking it and um, condensing it to the correct uh, headings here. So I think, yeah, a little bit too repetitive. The one paragraph it did okay with was the history. So the history, I quite like this. And it actually got the, uh, the correct year that it was created. And all of that seems fine. I'd keep all of that, but I, I'd have to edit most of these to uh, get it usable. All right, so I've spent about five minutes editing this down, and now I am at a word count of 326. So 
probably 200, 200 or so of these words were just repetitive. So um, just editing that in Google, Google Docs, I might uh, go ahead and just replace that in here. Now we've got a more usable article. And then if we wanna go on and expand on some of these things, we could go on and use the AI writer here and add a topic in and, and just keep adding to the article until we get to the word count that we'd like to have. So um, for example, with the features, one thing it hasn't mentioned is the acrylic face of the watch. So I could put in here the acrylic face of the Vostok Amphibia Dive Watch, hit generate, and it will give me around 70 or so extra words based on the input here. So it has inserted this paragraph at the bottom of the article. If I go ahead and put this under the features, I can paste it there. So again, yeah, about 70 words that it's created here. And what have we got? The acrylic face of the Vostok Amphibia Dive, which is high quality scratch resistant material. This allows the diver to view the time and depth while underwater. Now it goes on about talking about the unidirectional bezel, luminous arrow marker. Again, stuff that we've already discussed in the article, screw down crown, stainless steel case back. Um, so it's really only given us one sentence. Um, so we've got about 50 words here. What is it really? Let me check. Uh, words, 29. So it's given us maybe like one or two good sentences from, from uh, seven or eight words input. So yeah, we're not getting a lot of good, good quality output, but I mean, it's not too bad considering the price. It's definitely usable. It sounds good to read. It doesn't, uh, it's not going off topic, but uh, it's certainly not as powerful as some of the other writers that I've tried. Let's add a little bit about the bracelet. So I'll put the, I'll put the bracelet here. Bracelet. And let's generate. Let's see what we get. The bracelet is a stainless steel band with a clasp closure. The bracelet is hinged, so, so it has a push button release. It doesn't have a push button release. Um, the band is also adjustable, so that's okay. And then it talks about the water resistance again. So again, in terms of usable words here, you get another 231 characters, which is in words. We've gotten let me see another 40 words so i mean that's not too bad that's not too bad but it's obviously not as good as something like word hero where i was getting close to 100 or pepper type where i'd get um, 100 usable words in one click but i mean that's not too bad all right so i think that gives a fairly decent overview of the quality here so there are some issues with repetitive content here but uh Overall, I don't mind reading it. It does require a bit of editing to get it uh, how I want it. So it's probably not as powerful as um, Pepper Type or uh, Word Hero or Writer, but it was certainly a little better than something like Typely AI or um, uh, AI SEO in terms of what it could do. Uh, the value is definitely there at $29 if you're really strapped and you just need something simple. Uh, to get started with. But I think for my case, I probably wouldn't go for this. I'd spend a little bit more and go for Word Hero probably at the moment. I think that's the best lifetime deal. But yeah, I mean, this is not too bad. I think this is going to be suitable for more general, simple topics. It's going to handle that okay. I think for like scientific or engineering or software type stuff, it's going to struggle a bit. Um, as you get more technical, it's going to struggle. But I mean, for simple stuff, it's probably all you need. So in terms of the word count, I've used up 4,000 words testing this already. Uh, the free trial actually gives you 1,000 words, I think. So you can actually try this out. It's probably worth signing up, just giving it a test out for what your topic is. If it works for you, then I think you probably can save some money going for a cheap AI writer. But I think in most cases, uh, you're going to be better off spending a little more and getting a more powerful uh, system. So that pretty much wraps it up. I only have one more video to do in this series. I think it's Content Forge, which I'm gonna do over the next few days. But after that, I'll do a big summary and put them um, how I would rank them sort of thing and just do a little bit of a summary, which one I'd recommend overall out of all the ones I've tested. So just stay tuned for that. Hit the um, subscribe if you haven't already and hit like, but thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.